about the cause of death. As for the cause of death, we won't know until the autopsy is done. From what we've seen, so it appeared to be some kind of acute heart failure. But since he had no record of chronic illness and had no visible wound, it's possible that a poison or drug could have been involved. Dying in the middle of the park like that, it shouldn't really seem suspicious. We found signs of the saga at the scene as well as footprints belonging to an unidentified individual. Like if people try to identify the spring, if we can't find who they belong to, we might be able to feature this whole thing out. Yes, wouldn't that be nice if that was the end of it? The only thing Hajime had on him was his base and the wallet in the pocket. So we could rule out a mugging. So, there probably are many people who think to try mugging a cop as big as him. I also heard that Hajime got into a fair few fights in his younger days. He started judo when he became an officer and rose up the rank quickly. Sounds like the first would have to have been pretty strong to take on Hajime. Okay. Nothing. But that was around 11 p.m. two days ago, outside of the park's operating hours, of course. His body was found early in the morning yesterday. 11 p.m. the day before yesterday. What was Hajime doing out here at that time in the first place? That's the question, isn't it? The entrance to the park closed at the hours. But a small gate that would be fairly easy for you to get through if you really wanted to. That would of course be breaking and entering, but what do you think, boss? I want to call him here? He came here to hide something. What? I want to call him here. The second one, I guess? Maybe he came here under the cover of night to hide something. I don't know, what got through all that trauma just to have something? To be perfectly honest, I think you're going the wrong direction entirely. Huh? You think? Since it seems think it seemed like there was another person here at the time of Hajime's death, wouldn't it be more likely that the other person call him here? Uh, yeah, so let's go with that. The they must have been talking about something pretty sensitive to compute in the middle of the night. So, how you may meet someone here to discuss something in secret? And then, they got into a fight. No, they wouldn't match the cause of death. There were no wound on the body that would indicate a spontaneous scuffle. The perp might have planned something. Then you think one meditated? That would mean they go Hajime to the park with the intent to kill him? Well, there's still the possibility that it was just some kind of accident. Maybe the perp tried to threaten Hajime and thing went south from there. We should be able to get a clearer picture when we know exactly what killed him. Right. About Tsusumi. By the way, I'm so glad you're back in the first division, boss. I always admired your work. You were like a god to me. <laughs> you were the whole reason I became the detective in the first place. Oh, yeah, about that. People have been saying that ever since you first entered the academy, 
ball. Yeah, that because it's true. I couldn't believe you got transferred out the first day that I was assigned to it. So getting to work a case like this now, just the two of us, it's a dream come true. How fierce I am to hear that. Oh. Well, how should I fool it? What is it? If that's true, I'm not sure you've been showing me the appropriate amount of respect. Huh? But I do respect you. Don't tell me you're going to see now, boss. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm talking about when you run your mouth like that. You get it, like, you must be sleeping. <laughs> Don't worry, boss. I'll make sure we get out of here soon. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, oh, no. Oh, did my voice was? Oh, I can see it. It's just in the leaf. That and my own voice. Okay. Why did I... I've been wow when you shoot the testing abilities all day today. Oh really funny, I've been wow by you too. <laughs> oh, the topic of family, what's yours like boss? The hell wrong with you? Fry into my personal life all of a sudden. It's just, I never heard you talk about them or anything. Oh, are you a singer? Shut up, that's not your business. Well, ever since I joined the force, I have been thinking. The department really pressured young officers to get married. I wonder why that is. You don't say anything like that, though. Oh, sure, I know. I came to the pressure myself. I got married 20 some years ago. Huh? So then? God, you're real landless. You took, she took our daughter and left four years ago. Thank for reminding me. Oh, I'm sorry. Come on, let's give up a guy like you. And I was never home much to focus on work. I come from late only to get called right back out again. Plus, be the cop in dangerous work. I don't blame her for getting fed up with it all. How sad, especially when you're out here putting your light on the line. Oh, is that why you sent her out at the first? You were already too late by then. You better be careful, Ariel. You said that, but there's not much I can do, is that that's the nature of a job. There are many who can really understand it, not unless they are involved with police for then sale. Or related to someone who it is. Oh wait, you have a daughter, boss. She really think I want to talk over her at all. That have some sense. Come on, I probably don't mean this the way it sounds. But how old is she? Jeez, you don't know when to quit, do you? At least try not to look so intrigued. She is well, she will be robbed around the ages. I think most men are intimidated by her. Uh, I heard she's living by herself and going to college. Wow, college student, men love an educated lady. Stop that, what kind of call are you making bad assumptions like that? She's living alone, so huh? You must worry about her. Worry? I don't even know where she lives. Oh, so, oh, oh, so she hasn't told you? Probably because she knows you follow her around everywhere. I would not, I don't think. Come on now, we will know that's not true. Listen here. You may look like a mean old man, but you show him a soft side. What, is that supposed to be a compromise? I can't keep up with you. I'm done talking about this. <laughs> okay. Oh, that reminds me. And you got married 20 years ago. It might have been right around the day of my mother. You know your history. Yeah. That happened a year or two after a wedding. You were the one who arrested the killer. Weren't you? We studied the case at the academy. I was only elementary school at the time. 
I still remember people talking about some dangerous criminal getting arrested. All that was just cracking a case, finding the guy, it was all just happenstance. I really rather not think about it. It was a disturbing case. Did not make your skin crawl when you learn about it at the academy. And then we were all terrified. So I'm well right. No one could believe that such a mild mannered man could have committed such a terrible murder. And we had overlooked one little thing we may never had caught him at all. I think I remember hearing there was only one shot brought the gallery in the end. That's right. We didn't have evidence. I knew there was no way such a particularly planned crime could have been their first but we may have stuck for Michigan, Denima and Michelle, but it was no victory. She always had the upper hand. And all the damage she did to everyone involved, especially the victim's classmate. It's already been 20 years, huh? God damn it. This is why I try not to think about it. I'm sorry. About the cup. So, all this a cop stop. Have you heard about it, Bob? What are you talking about? This right a resurrection thing that everyone's just talking about. No, not you too. I've been hearing about this shit everywhere. Oh, you have? That's surprising. Okay, what people are talking about? It got nothing to do with a job. But don't you think your cops start with this cat fear? I don't know. Real uh, somehow. The whole thing started right here in Honjo in Serbia City. So I thought that maybe. Cut it out, nothing new. Good could come from getting involved with that riot or whatever on that record of fate. So you know all about it. Boss, are you sickly into the account? Stop that. Seriously, this is a joke. I like got why you'll be intrigued by something called the right of resurrection after a body of yours died, but bringing the dead back to life, that's the stuff of fantasy and not real. So don't go hoping for miracles, got it? Well boss, I think that about that's it. Right, let's call it for tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. What's this? What? Oh my god. Oh god, what is that? Huh? What? What's wrong? Right. This time we're going to see now. I'm behind you, where you? Who you think that? Damn it. You are the kids all along. What? You know about it? What? What is it? Is there something over there? Wait, what? <laughs> Stop this sorrow. A resentful memory. What the? What? The, okay, I can't read that. The turn of darkness killed him. Kill what? Kill who? What? Those who spread the light. Kill them all. You have acquired the power of the custom, the evergreen beast. You can use it to kill those who intentionally try to mislead you. Set the cut button to sound light to you. What? Lie to me? Okay. The evergreen beast and enduring. Okay, I already know this, but what is a curse from? Killed by hanging ones who try to mislead the curse bearer with false statements or resentful memories. It deceived us with the so called right of resurrection, the man who took the people with the false dark heart swing from the road. They thought the man who escaped the previous night, but only enough. We were found hanging in the garden of the Damion mentioned the morning. The man, a local named Jinkichi, was known for his kind temperament and skill in crafting Nesuke cloth. Whilst his life wasn't always easy, he was optimistic, the type to smile to whatever light threw at him. He was the kind of man who would take care of those who didn't have anyone else to rely on. The prosperity that the Ukiyo Ebu for it must have been what feigned the flame of the green. The old craftsman was found in a miserable state as he sentenced to some cruel fate. Perhaps he ended his own life unable to bear the weight of his crime. 
on that man ten or ten, and the people thought of me like a bad man even in that. He hung there for days, just his neck dressed horrifically. When visits the face, the aces on the face, it would clear him and struggled brutally as he died. The flesh marked with dark scar, with a rope wrapped around his whole body. The beast twisted lid did not fall, and neither did the medicine body hanging from it. At the medicine's owner was not at home, another unfortunate event. The people had their tongue, fearing divine punishment, but the rumors persisted nonetheless. Okay. We got curse power. Okay. Ugh. A murderous impulse seeped into my soul, like thick and black tar. Now, for what to you? Can you hear it, curse bearer? You, who so strongly desire the right, kill them. Boss, boss. Boss, well, what the matter? Don't tell me you really went to see now. <laughs> Stop. Sorry. I'm fine. Ariel. Yes? I have some bad news. Oh, oh no, your senility is kicking in, isn't it? <laughs> no, we got a bit of trouble on our hands. Look like we'll be working some overtime without going home tonight. Huh? What are you talking about? Oh gosh, this is getting... Oh, what? Hmm, okay, next video then.